by the second. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> getting into game number one here on Smashville Momo and Ike. Ike Pikachu seems very one-sided in Pikachu's favor. But oh, yeah. So far, I mean, Lime is making it look close. Oh, yeah, we're already starting out this game. Leo just putting on the pressure, realizing, like, if you keep this Ike on the ground, he's, like, constantly in these combos, Ike does not have that quick retreat option to get out of these, right? He's taking so much damage. He's got the properties of a heavy, essentially, right? The only thing he really has to fish for is those aerial scoops with the Nair. But if you're playing towards the ground, and that's exactly what Leo's doing, you can avoid this pretty well. After starting 95% already, and the damage is going up and up. Yep, and I would imagine the fact that we're on Smashville here signifies that it was Lime who won that RPS, right? Picked that first stage. Because Pikachu does not like this one very much. But what's also interesting is, uh, Lime Cookie's been playing mostly Joker tonight. So seeing the Ike come out here, maybe he knows something we don't, but... Honestly, we saw the Joker in the last that able to pull it out against EJJ. Very good stuff to him. But not like this, uh, his Ike. It's just looking... I I'm liking the way, the, the mentality here. Like, cause, like, Joker obviously doesn't get as much off of a singular hit as Ike does. If you're looking for that singular pickup on a character like Pikachu Way, you find the Nair at this percentage, and the stock is gone. Plus, you live for much longer, right? 150% online. Leo trying to do his best to take the stock here any way he can. Up air still not going to close it out. Look for the air dodge. And yeah. still hang on to the stock line, Goku. And it might also be, right, a... Just a choice based on the player in part as well, right? We're not seeing Leo kind of look for these edge guards in the same way. Looking for a lot more vertical as opposed to horizontal combos, looking to juggle Ike a lot more, which, you know, if you're lying, right, you're a lot Damn. happier with, but all it takes is one hit to die to that F smash, lose your stock, and just like that, Lime's now got to play, bring it back against as Ike against Pikachu from behind. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to be very difficult. Now Lime's just looking for that F tool, that back air, literally anything, looking to close up the stock. But you know, Leo knows exactly what to deal with this, right? Fighting a character with disjoints as Pikachu, you know exactly what the, what the game is. T-Jolt in, into profit. It's like playing around this, using that quick attack, using throwing out those aerials. Literally, Ike cannot keep up with you. He is a, a large man against a small rodent. Yep, and he there, cannot touch you. No, he can't. There, the frame two thunder Ew. gonna allow you to get out of the, That's what the disadvantage you. for a second. But landing on the platform, right, getting caught by that nair, not gonna. Your stock's not gonna be long for this world. And oh my Ike god! Side gonna send it to the blast zone. Pikachu can't catch ledge That's when so you're be getting put in the blender, Momo, and just like that. Leo, what was a strong lead, is now a last stock situation. Yeah, man, that's what happens when you when you get way too complacent in your lead. You make stupid mistakes like that. Obviously, Lime Cookie, this is the this is the I can pick in your quest, this is in your head right now, right? Fighting those early stocks, trolling for a lack of a better term, and that's exactly what you need to do. But Leo, not looking to close stock out here, yeah. catching the quick draw, finally calling out that high quick draw. Uh, Lime has been getting away with that all set, relatively uncontested. He tried to call out a low recovery on the edge guard off the upper bridge before, but. Lime went high again, so this time calls him out on the high recovery. Still hasn't managed to catch out these nares consistently, going to do so there with a quick attack. But Lime's just saying, my mix-up, I'm going to press the same button again. And guess what my mix-up for that is? Same button. Lime has an opportunity reading the uh, DI there. Er, great stuff from Lime. I'm knowing that you have to... Have, you can DI out of that, and great stuff from Leo knowing that you can react to that DI and dash in to still confirm that thunder. Oh yeah, definitely. Now Lime Cookie sitting in the driver's seat once again, looking to close out the stock here on Leo. Nice quick attack there to catch that jump. This Nair into an upper, or maybe just a Nair as we saw earlier, could close the stock out here soon. Now Leo doing everything in his power to just get that damage up on this Ike. Ike at 0% is absolutely going to do nothing for you. And like I said, Lime's playing super well, but we're seeing an up there into a back air. This could be the stock that he needs right now. And, with and that up tilt, oh, that's going to be it. Yeah, and that up tilt back air from Leo. So smart, but he didn't optimize the conversion after that. There was a DI in. He still had an opportunity to get more, but just didn't really find it when it mattered most right now right here again and calling it out the thunder gonna make it happen and just looking but landing on the platform great stuff from line there drifting back avoiding that t jolt and now finding the extension and just that, the second stock zero bro, bro that's two stocks one clip holy troll that, that's that's the term we have for that that was hilarious to say the absolute least but man I, like, honestly, we were seeing Lime Cookie get bullied for most of that game, right? Oh, yeah. But this is the essence of Ike. 
right? You catching those singular moments and then taking the stock and cheesing. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. So I'm, I'm feeling like it's a little bit like the 1950s right now because I like Ike. No. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, this character's fun and it's at least fun for Lime because Leo says, I hold on. I don't think that I want to do this right now. Evidently didn't watch the Vortex, Vortex Legacy number two though, because he just picked Mario against I picking the same skin Don always uses, and well, we know how that went. Shout out to Don, man. I mean, oh my God, she's looking like Don right now. This insane combos. Oh yeah, and the almost ten percent. That's gonna close it out. Very good stuff to Leo. I'm liking the Mario pick here, right? Because like, mm -hmm. while Mario might not do as good as Pikachu does in this matchup, yep, it's more so. like a mentality here, like mm -hmm. setting up once again, but uh, using that fireball to get yourself in and finding those big explosive combos to close up the stocks earlier as you need them. Mm -hmm. And you definitely right. You have a lot of the same tools, at least in theory. However, the vertical combos Leo's kind of tried to find a little bit more of this set. He. Mario does a much better job of, right? You still want to find your ways in with Fireball as opposed to T-Jolt. You still want to combo start with Grab, with, you know, Nair, with a lot of the same tools in the same situations. But Leo is making it work a lot better so far, managing to just... Whatever, whether it's a mix, whether it's comfort, just using it to his advantage to its fullest right now. And Lime, a hill to climb early on here. Oh, definitely Lime doing everything in his power to try to get himself back into this game. Oh, but again, that jump getting called out by that Mario back air. The fast, the fast frame data on these Mario arrows, uh, much unlike the Pikachu arrows, where you have to get a lot like strings, those uh, multi hits, right? So you have those singular the back airs, get you right off stage, exactly where Ike struggles the most. And Lime Cookie is just struggling to find those singular hits, but finally finds that F tilt and now evening up the stock count, but down 112%. Yeah, Leo just trying to make like Don again, right? Call him out with that up smash, but a little bit misspaced, getting a little antsy on it, a little bit preemptive, and once you press that charge, Lime just can hold shield, right, punish you for it. The edge guard almost there, and that's another reason, why, right, we're gonna see this Mario counter pick is Leo struggled kind of at times to edge guard, right, some of Lime with these quick draws, but we saw the flood come out earlier, so, so good at, at dealing with that move. Oh, Leo not trying to play around this disjoint. Lime doing a very good job realizing, like, threatening that I am Ike with rage. I will hit you big time, and I will take your stock very early. Oh, going super deep there, trying to find the Ike. Oh, yeah. the Aether once again, but still not able to find that punish. No cigar. And that fireball gave him a little bit of extra time to kind of recollect himself. Maybe helped him get back, but took a little bit of damage for it. Leo's able to keep this going, and Ike, the downside is that you can't travel diagonally gonna lose his stock for it there and just like there we that go. momo we are back to even even stock count once again very good stuff to lime cookie again then the, the mind game that you need to have playing Ike is just i will take a lot of damage i will be in the loser seat a lot of the time but my character is extremely explosive so i can definitely bring this back but we're looking at an explosive combo from leo right now trying to get this back into this corner landing there not able to find anything just yet or the chase of the down tilt but still Lime Cookie back on the stage and looking for a ledge of his own! And with that combo, I love ending it with the fair right, prioritizing that stage control over an additional juggle. You might get a little bit more damage the other way, but your potential to take that stock is lower. Right now, Leo's still trying to find his way out of the situation he was put in because of that corner. He's still trying to find his way back to stage. He's having to expend these jumps early, which means he has less resources to land. Yeesh. And that's what Lime Cookie took advantage of. Closing out the juggle, closing out the advantage state, finding the game, and putting himself up, what, 2 0 now? Listen, man, Nair like a butterfly, up air like a bee. That stings. That was very man. good. Leo, but guess what? He bro can see is him. baffled. He bro, can see him. He definitely hit him. He'd been froze for 40 minutes. Somebody helped my boy out. It's like, damn, they, they, weren't, they weren't wrong. They, 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 were, they were right, honestly. Bro. Uh, Ike sweep is incoming. It, uh, it is 2023 is the year of the Ike. Leo is looking kind of befuddled if anything. Uh, I, I yeah, I mean, right? Like, what do you even do? This combo to start things off was so smart, but instead just the up smash. Again, right? Too antsy. You're not gonna find your mark. Nair into up air. The Ike classic that reverse hit. What you need to confirm and finding that dash attack to boot that move kills you at a ridiculous percent moment. What's happening? Leo, what's going on in your head, buddy? 
This is like, this is how I'd be looking when I lose like six games in a row in the friendlies mm -hmm. rotation. Like, yeah, this is where like I'm feeling confident about my character at the beginning of the day, and I'm sitting there like, damn, like, what, like, what, what, what do I do? Like, do I pick up another character? Do I pick up Falco? I was just gonna say Falco as a meme. That's so funny. As as someone who's knows. Used, swung a longsword, I don't understand how Ike is, swings this like this. Like, I mean, you can see those traps, but even still, they are like, how do you even? How do you do that, man? And how do you how do you spit, get away from this bird? Or the answer is well, you just never let them in. Abuse that big long sword, and that's what Cookie's trying to do here early. Oh yeah, definitely good stuff. Already finding that nair at the beginning. Leo trying to get the do exactly what Falco does, right? Get in, get that nice quick 70% and just close up the stock early. Lime obviously he's been around he, he went from Pikachu to Mario to Falco. He's been around he, he know he's familiar with their game. He knows that these combo characters do what they do. And this Ike can deal with it. He's just trying to get back on the stage. Looking to close up the stock. Nice laser there. And yes, Lime still just keeping up the pressure here. Oh no spike, but that downer is going to close it out. I love that dare there, right? You cause you know that's how our spot as it did kills just like that back air does the sweet spot however right also sends you the blast zone it puts you in a checkmate scenario and covers the space above ledge below ledge you can't really mix them up and it really just checkmates a character with his power recovery as falco right now though the combo getting started somehow finding a grab into a reversal momo and it feels like this is just swinging back and forth oh yeah definitely nice Leo trying to keep that space there, using that reflector, saying like, as a get off me tool, saying like, hey, I need to reset myself, I need to go away from this sword like you were talking about. Huge parry, we're finally seeing the parries! Leo is learning the matchup! Holy dog! Oh, yep. and there we go, and able to make it back just fine. Yeah, I was gonna say, beautiful drift back there just slightly. However, unfortunately, gonna still get caught out by the back here, regardless of your DI. I, if he drifted in on that up B or just didn't drift, he would have hit the top of stage and died. So finding a way back, KK Slider now in the house along with the platforms Momo, providing us with some bobs here tonight. And Ike seems to be jamming on out here on the second stock, trying to keep himself in this game. Cookie not wanting to get Leo, let Leo get on the board. Ooh, Leo now trying to use that reflector to get the pressure on the platform. Is Falco doing a very good job of saying, like, finally getting through. Naren up air still not going to close it out just yet. Now we'll catch that landing. Up air coming out from this Falco. Can we try to close the stock out soon? Up air coming out from Leo again. Lime, nice spots off the den. Up to in the back air. And that's going to be it. A two stock. Ooh, we're seeing some emotion there. Leo, the, the dog is out. The, the, the eagle is cawing right now. Oh, damn, that was kind of uh, That was... Uh, we got sound effects here, production through the roof, just like that. I thought that was air. you, honestly. It wasn't I, me. I'm, I'm like, yo, damn, Rich. Bro, okay, I mean, I... I you. I'll, I'll, <laughs> hey, Momo, I'm not going to do it on stream, but uh, I can do it for you after, after oh, the block. Oh, my God, okay. Want. Anyways. Hey, yo. Hey, I'm not doing yo. it on stream. Hey, yo. Hey, here we go. Falco and the Joker. Yeah, now we've seen, being from Philly, a Philly boy myself, We've seen this matchup tons of times, right? Mercury Resident Joker versus like the 14 Falcos we got in Philly, right? We, we, I know how this matchup goes. Not the greatest for jo uh, Falco, considering that Joker uses those his Ahas and those those disjoints very well. Mm -hmm. Able to get his combos very well on a character like Falco mm -hmm. is able to abuse his recovery yeah, exa so easily. Exactly what you just said, right? Falco's floatiness doesn't help him too much in this matchup. That double jump, though, can be very good to get out of this match. And the frame one, one reflector, very good against Aegon, but not against that move right there, because guess what? Did you know Gun's not a projectile? I did know that. It's it 2023. I know, but people still don't know that, dude. Who? Point them out right now. I want to embarrass them in front of the class. Oh god, I'm trying to remember. There was someone in New England, like a PR player who I was talking to, who didn't. A PR player? Oh my Dude, god, anyways. People still don't know Shield FDI exists, so. Oh, nice. Up till into Nair coming out. Trying Instead, opting for the Nair to get more hits to get rid of that Arsene. Very smart stuff from Leo. Now trying his best to play around this Joker, but Lime Cookie put him in the perfect. He's up now, two games to one. Gets caught by the landing up smash, though. Leo, this Falco, honestly, where's this Falco been in my life? It's looking pretty nice. Oh, and it's gone immediately. Yeah, that well, the answer is it was cooking, but time to take it out of the oven. Those cookies are ready to eat, and Lime closing out the stock. Now just, you're seeing Leo, right, trying, looking for a grab, looking for an up tilt, using some great pivot cancels there to just extend the momentum, right, slide forward there with Falco on some of those up tilts just to mix up his spacing, but not able to find it too much, and... We're not seeing the full breadth of co Falco's combo starters, really, and Lime's taking full advantage of that here early on, winning these neutrals. Oh, our son's online looking for that backer to accentuate this stock. I don't find that f toll just yet, but now Lime finding that f toll once again. Our Sen online. This is the thing that Falco really, really struggles with in this matchup. Getting back to stage, and that's exactly what's going to happen. 
So you've still got half that Arsene gauge. You're at 56%, and Leo is not looking very good right now for your possible final stock of winner's side in this tournament. Yep, that gun, best case scenario there for Leo, right? You can't come in, so it doesn't let you start a combo, but it does just take out that meter, meaning you've only now taken 50, which sounds like a lot, but when you consider that it's on Arsene, not as, you know, not the worst case scenario, even remotely, trying to threaten it down there, but they're, they're, Gonna find it on stage, but not able to find it in the situation he wanted, Momo, and trying to close out the Oh no! Guard, oh but... my god! No time to wait. Oh, that was that was so 2019-esque, like... Bro, and the no time to waste, too. Did you hear, like, as soon as Morgana just comes, it's like, no time to waste! That's... Like, as soon as you miss attack to lose to that up B, it's like, talk about the game BMing you. Bro, that was hilarious, for a lack of a better term. Honestly, like... First of all, very good ledge drop here. Honestly, mm -hmm. Sky is just absolutely destroying the stock here. But like at the end, like that, like yeah. literally, like w the second this happened, I'm like, it's it's 2019 all over again, bro. Like, hold up, you like, yeah, hold on. He's like, oh, no, jump. Oh, he's not gonna make it back to ledge. Oh, good goodbye, goodbye. GGS, <laughs> GGS. The year, the year is uh 20 X. X. The year is not 20 XX, it's 2019. No, the year is 20 XX, and Momo, it doesn't matter what year it is, because that's still going to happen. That's Very so techable. You got to be ready to tech those whenever. You got to be, just, when Joker's off stage, you got to be ready to tech literally anything. Oh, I was, I was, I was trying to, uh, jump back for a second, but, uh, I, I, I just want to say, uh, what's up? I, I just want to, I just want to take a moment. What's up? Th this? Uh huh. This is how, that's how Falco. I would feel. No, that's how I would feel if I'm Leo right now. Yeah, uh, that's like, that like, sucks. like, especially right after the set. Like, at least when you, at least, at least if you lose like that, your character embodies your emotions too. It's like you it know? sucks when like I feel like when you be that Ike, he's like, okay, you know, like Falco, yes, I'm moving. And he switches Joker. He's like, damn, I forgot about the Joker. <laughs> that is this, the the counterplay game of rock paper scissors that you're always forced to play with a lot of these players, like the co mains, right? That's so unfortunate. Yeah, and there's a reason, right? Like you said, rock paper scissors, right? People have compared it since the dawn of competitive Smash as the world's most complicated game of rock, paper, scissors. That's why is you write stage stage picks, character picks, skin picks, music picks, but also even in game like move sets, adjustments, right? Like how you're utilizing your kit, how you're playing your playstyle, all of it has counterplay. All yeah. of it is a mental game, a lot more than picking your inputs. And you know, sometimes you just gotta make like Joker and look kinda cool. Yeah, I guess.